So a hot air balloon is rising at a rate of four miles an hour, while a bicycle, that's my drawing of a bicycle, directly below the hot air balloon, is traveling at 10 miles an hour. At what rate is the distance between the balloon and the bicycle increasing 30 minutes after so I'm gonna write this down 30 minutes after the bicycle is directly below the hot air balloon given that right at that time the hot air balloon was exactly quarter mile so 0.25 of a mile above the bicycle or the person on top of the bicycle. Um, okay, so the question mark here, of course, uh, note that uh, the hot air balloon keeps on rising. So I'm going to call the the distance between you know the this spot here and the hot air balloon just y. And I'm saying like just directly above the head of the bicycle just essentially because we're not really concerned about where the where the ground is since the hot, hot air balloon was just a quarter mile up from the bicycle and x is just going to be the distance between the bicycle and exactly this point here right where the bicycle was directly below the hot air balloon so of course 30 minutes afterwards the bicycle is going to be where, well on its way. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to draw an okay bicycle here. There we go. It's going to be a little bit far away, right? And we're going to be able to draw this triangle right here. So x is this. This is over here. This is going to be y right here, and z is going to represent the distance between or the shortest distance between the hot air balloon and the bicycle. Okay, as you can tell, we're going to have a right triangle. And we already know a few things. We know that dx dt is going to be 10, because that's the speed in which the bicycle is traveling. dy dt the rate in which y is increasing is just going to be 4 because it will represent the speed in which the hot air balloon is rising. Excellent. And what we ultimately want to find out is dz dt, which of course represents the rate in which the distance between the hot air balloon and the bicycle, at what rate? this distance is increasing. Okay, so let's work this out. We know that we can use Pythagoras because this is a right triangle. So we have x squared plus y squared equals z squared. Now let's differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to time. So let's take d dt of both sides of the equation. d dt. I managed to squeeze squeeze it in there, the ddt. There we go. So, differentiating x squared with respect to time. The derivative of x squared is just two x, and of course we're using implicit differentiation, so we're going to be stuck with the dx dt right here. Same thing with the y squared. Derivative of y squared is just two y, but we're multiplying that by dy dt. And finally, we have 2z times dz dt. Same thing, because all we need to do is take the derivative with respect to z of z, or z squared. The derivative of z squared is 2z, but because we had d, d, or sorry, d dt first, we're going to be stuck with the dz dt. Excellent. So now we we can essentially divide both sides by 2 as well just to get rid of all these 2's 
Now we can plug everything in to figure out what what dz dt is going to be. So what is x? Well, 30 minutes after the instant in which the vi bicycle was directly below the hot air balloon, hot air balloon, um, well, he was riding at 10 miles an hour times 30 minutes, minutes, which is half an hour. We're going to have just 5 miles. So x is 5. Now dx dt is 10. Now what about y? Well, y started at 0 0.25, a quarter mile. But now after half an hour, 4 miles an hour times half, that's just 2 miles. So y is 2 and a quarter. Or how about 9 over 4? Let's just write 9 over 4 times dy dt, which is, of course, 4 miles an hour. So 9 over 4 times 4, they just cancel out. And over here we have z times dz dt. Now what is z going to be equal to? Well, that's just the distance between the hot air balloon and the bicycle. Half an hour later, or half an hour after the bicycle was directly below the hot air balloon. So let's calculate that. We have 5 for x. We have 2 and a quarter for y. And we want to figure out what z is. So let me actually continue up here z squared is equal to 9 over 4 squared, which is, of course, 2 and a quarter, plus 5 squared. So z squared is going to work out to be 81 over 16. 9 squared, 81. 4 squared, 16. 5 squared, 25. Then we can take the square root of both sides. Because I don't have my calculator with me, I'm actually just going to leave it like this. And it, you can calculate, it, calculate everything on your own afterwards, as long as you have a calculator. Sounds like a fair deal to me. So this is z, and we're multiplying z by dz dt. Then of course all we need to do is divide both sides by z to isolate dz dt. So we divide both sides by this element, n dz dt. It's just then going to be equal to 5 times 10, 50, plus 9, 59, divided by the square root of 81 over 16, plus 25. And this is the, w the rate in which the distance between the hot air balloon and the bicycle is increasing 30 minutes after the bicycle was directly below the hot, air <laughs> the hot air balloon. Sometimes I just can't pronounce things properly in English. That's funny. Okay, so there we go. And uh, hopefully it made good sense. It's a bit of a mess. But um, keep on trying to work on related rates problems. And best of luck in all of calculus. Thank you.